I love this topic so much. And I love all of the stuff that you experience when you learn the three skills that help you brainwash yourself in a positive way so you can experience greater success and deeper meaning in your life. You deserve this. Please make sure you share this with people. Like the other thing that's really cool about this topic is that the more that you're around people that also do this, the more you amplify each other. So this is a great thing to share with people that you love. Now, you and I have already covered skill number one, which is this idea of state it and then claim it, that you need to state what you want as if it's happening so that you set it in motion. Now let's talk about the second skill, which is you've gotta be able to then align your energy with what you want. And in order to teach you how to do this, I wanna go back to the example that we started with, which is let's go back to the grocery store where you're standing in this long line. There's seven people in front of you. You got your cart full of stuff. The line is like winding down and back the aisle and you're starting to feel what you know, normal people feel. You're getting angry. You're getting frustrated. You're starting to look at your phone. You're starting to gripe to yourself. Oh, yeah, why don't they have more people up here? Can't they see how many people are here? It's going to take forever. I got, I got things I got to need to do. Sure, you can do step one when you're in that state, grumbling and looking at your phone. You can state a line is going to open up. But if you keep looking at your phone, and you allow yourself to stay angry and frustrated, uh, it's not going to happen because your energy doesn't match what you just set in motion. See, you can state a line's going to open up. But if your energy is frustration, it blocks it from happening. So you not only have to be able to stand in that line and state that a line is going to open up, this is going to get moving, but then you have to align how you feel in that moment with it actually happening. This is what I mean by mastering your energy. Researchers call this high vitality, but I want you to think about it in a common sense way, okay? So let me ask you a question. Does the energy that you're feeling right now, is it consistent? with the thing that you stated actually happening? Because if it isn't consistent with the line opening up or you finding the dress or the quilt magically appearing or you getting the job interview, if it's not consistent with that happening, you gotta change it. And here's how you can hack it, okay? Now just imagine that it's happening, right? The line opens up, you find the dress, you meet someone at the event who literally works at the place that you want to have a job interview at. How are you gonna feel? How are you gonna feel when you spot that dress, the perfect Cinderella dress over on the pajama rack, like you won the lottery? How are you gonna feel when the line right next door to you opens up and three people pull out of your line and then you scoot up in your line and magically everything's moving again? Here to feel freaking great. Awesome. Bring that energy to how you feel right now. I'm dead serious about this. Before you walk into the store, I want you to not only state that you're gonna find the perfect dress, I want you to feel the energy of what it's gonna feel like when you do. Before you go into the networking event, I want you to not only state that you're gonna meet the perfect person tonight that is going to help you. I want you to feel the energy of what it feels like to meet somebody who has the perfect connection for your job search. And as you're standing at the grocery store, in this line a mile long with a cart full of stuff that you need in order to get home to make for dinner, and you state that that line next door is going to open up, I want you to summon the energy of what it will feel like when the other lane opens and things start moving again like magic. And you want to know what's super cool? is the more that you practice this and the more that you master your energy, the faster you start going through your day-to-day -day life in alignment with everything that you want. See, there's a reason why so many cool and meaningful things happen in my life. I'll tell you why. Because I've figured out the secret. The secret is move through your life setting things in motion and then match your energy to be aligned with it. Act as if it's already happened. Bring that energy to it. It's not faking confidence. You're in alignment. And it takes time and it takes a little bit of practice. And I've been doing this for years. This is a superpower. 
And so I want to give you a little hack that I used in the very beginning to start to build the skill of quickly mastering your energy and learning how to shift it. Very, very simple. Just listen to music. Okay, seriously, I'm, I'm, this really works like a charm. When you're done listening to this, go create a playlist that puts you in a fantastic mood. Like I'm talking the kind of songs that no matter what is going on in the world, if this song comes on, you can't help but put a little pep in your step. You find yourself swaying. That's the kind of playlist I want. It is a mood shifting playlist. And I want you to find about a dozen songs. And if you can't find it, even one, even one is good enough. But if you can create a playlist that as soon as these songs come on, you can't help but feel happier. You can use this playlist to your advantage. There you are standing in line at the grocery store, pop in the earbuds, put on the playlist, shift your energy, state what you want. Boom, you're in alignment, superpowers engaged. You can play it as you're driving to the store thinking about the dress that you are going to find. You can play it as you're going to the networking meeting thinking about how cool it's going to be when you meet that person who's going to introduce you to that person and all this stuff is going to fall in your lap. This is going to be incredible. And as you're listening to the music and you feel your energy shift, pay attention to that shift. It feels a certain way. Because if you can create it while you're listening to the music, you can then teach yourself how to create it even if you're not listening to it. And that's what I do all the time. When I state something and I put it in motion, I master my energy and I set that tidal wave in its direction. And energy alignment is what amplifies your success and the meaning that you're going to feel as you're doing it. And that brings me to the third skill that pulls it all together. And the third skill is find a bigger meaning. This means that you believe that the synchronicities around you, the things that you're setting in motion are a means of guidance from something that's much bigger than you. That literally when the line at the supermarket opens up, that it's a little wink from the universe. I see you. I'm here for you. And here's the fastest way for you to start to practice this skill of find a bigger meaning. I want you to think about somebody that you love who's no longer with us, okay? Is there some kind of sign or confirmation that always makes you believe when you see it that they're here with you, that they are in fact watching over you? I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that a hummingbird always reminds you of your mom. When a hummingbird shows up on a really important day, I want you to see that as a sign that your mom is in fact here. And you may have had this experience. I know a lot of people write in about this, that a loved one shows up for them in the form of an animal or a number or a certain song or a flower. In fact, this just happened to me yesterday. It was our daughter Sawyer's 25th birthday. And that same colleague, Amy, she pulled her a card, and the card that she pulled had an eagle on the front of it. And an eagle has always symbolized my father-in-law, Ken. How cool. Is it a coincidence? Absolutely not. How cool that he showed up on her 25th birthday. How freaking cool. And I also want you to start practicing this on days that are not important because that will take this skill of find a bigger meaning to a much more profound level. So let's go back to the example of your mom and a hummingbird so that I can explain this to you. I want you to say that you're going to see a sign from your mom today so that you set it in motion. And that is brainwashes you in a positive way. It unlocks the power of your brain to help you look for it. The second thing you're going to do is align your energy. What does that mean? That means I want you to master an energetic shift and go through the day-to-day -day expecting to see it. Like how cool is it going to be when you see that hummingbird? Maybe you're going to see the hummingbird in real life. Maybe you'll see one on social media. Maybe you'll see it in a magazine or it'll be on a tattoo on the person that is working in the restaurant tonight. Or maybe the restaurant tonight, their special dessert is hummingbird cake, which happens to be my father's favorite cake, which means 
In my mind, he must be thinking about me right now. Hi, Dad. And when it happens, allow it to be a sign of something bigger, of a bigger meaning in your life, that a force is guiding you. Whether that force is your higher self and intuition, or there's a religious connotation or a spiritual one, or a person in your life who's passed on. Because this force is there. And it is guiding you. And using these three tools, you can strengthen your connection to it. Not just on important days, but you can make every day feel more important because you do. And that will create more success and more meaning in your day-to-day -day life. You know, I can give you another example of how I have used these three skills. In 2017, when I uh, first published my book, The Five Second Rule, I did it as a self-published author. And there were a series of things that happened because I just didn't know. I mean, this was the first time I had ever self-published a book. I was brand new to the publishing game. And so, you know, I had worked really hard on this. But for the first month that the book was published, <laughs> it was a complete and utter failure. I mean, like a total disaster. I'll spare you the backstory, but basically there was some sort of glitch in the inventory software with Amazon. And so when the hardcover book launched, it was listed, I'm not kidding, as out of stock for the first 30 days of the book launch. Just think about that. You have spent 18 months writing this book. You've spent almost a year putting together a marketing plan. You go live, you tell everybody to buy the book, and because of a glitch in Amazon's system when it goes on sale, no one can buy it. I wanted to give up. I wanted to just fold it in right there. I, I just could not believe it. But let me tell you what I did. I used the three steps that I just taught you to tap into something bigger, to brainwash myself in this moment when there was nothing but evidence around me that this was a disaster. And the first thing that I did is I kept stating what I wanted. This is going to be a bestseller. 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 And then I kept every single day, oh my God, I kept trying to master my energy to align with that goal. Okay, let's just fast forward a year when this is a bestseller. How are you going to feel? Okay. And I kept tapping into it and I would wake up every single day and I would do step number three. There must be something bigger going on. There has to be something bigger going on that I cannot see. There is no way that I work this hard. I'm a good person. There's no way that this doesn't work out. I refuse to believe that. And I just kept stating it. I kept stating the five second rule is going to be a bestseller. Even though you can't buy the hardcover right now, the five second rule is going to be a bestseller. Even though I screwed up all the marketing, the five second rule is going to be a bestseller. For that month, I just kept on marketing the book, even though you couldn't buy. I kept delivering my speeches. I would wake up every day and the feelings of failure and depression and anxiety and embarrassment would be there. And I would flip on the music and I would shake that off and I would turn on the energy to match this belief that this book somehow, some way was going to be a bestseller. And I kept reminding myself something bigger must be happening. And these three skills kept me going. There were no signs for 30 days straight, no hummingbirds, no eagles, no angel numbers, no nothing. But I believed something bigger must be happening. And sure enough, 30 days later, something bigger revealed itself. See, because my traditional book launch had failed, and nobody could buy the hardcover. Everyone had bought the audiobook from Audible. <laughs> and a month into my book launch, using the three skills that I just explained to you to brainwash myself in the middle of a professional crisis 
and business disaster, I kept going. I kept waking up and moving forward. I kept acting consistently with what I had set in motion. And I learned that my audiobook had become a bestseller on Audible. And not only that, The Five Second Rule has gone on to become the most successful self-published audiobook in the history of Audible. And it also led to an unprecedented partnership that my production company, 143 Studios, has with Audible. In fact, we're in the middle of our seventh original production with Audible in less than four years. None of which would have happened had that computer system at Amazon been working properly. All of which, by the way, was meant to happen. And I set in motion. I set in motion because I stated it would be a bestseller. I mastered my energy and aligned it with the belief that it would. And by relentlessly reminding myself that something bigger was happening for me. And that's what kept me going. And because I kept going, it kept people going to Amazon, which kept people buying the audiobook, which I didn't even know was happening. And the rest is history. There's a totally different way to go through life to approach your business and your career. And it begins with these three simple steps. State it. State what's going to happen. And then claim it when it does. Master your energy. Align it with what you want. And it creates a tidal wave that makes it happen. And keep finding the bigger meaning. You've experienced these moments, right? You know, where you're like, oh my God, can you believe that that just happened? Is that a coincidence? Or is that life telling you something? You get to decide. 